for 20 full years between 1948 and 1968. The family of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was under detailed and meticulous surveillance of the Nehru government. For 16 of those years, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was the Prime Minister of this country. This is a massive expose by India Today magazine that has sent shockwaves right around the world and has laid bare one of the biggest espionage scandals in India's history. A shocking state secret. Independent India's most explosive spygate case. A massive row over India Today's exclusive revelations about the Netaji snoop gate by Nehru government. For nearly two decades, the intelligence bureau tailed family of Subhash Chandra Bose. Newly declassified papers show unprecedented surveillance on Netaji's wife and other close family members. The Intelligence Bureau intercepted their letters, shadowed them on domestic and foreign travels. India today has also accessed Nehru's letter to the then Foreign Secretary, showing keen interest in movement of Netaji's family in Tokyo. The family of Netaji is furious after the revelations and question why a revolutionary patriot was treated in such a way. It's an unacceptable invasion of privacy. Letters are being opened, copies taken and then sent. Uh, I really do not know what they are looking for. We would also like to know, today we are demanding declassification of Shubhash Bose's files. Are we also under surveillance? The revelation sparked a political war between the BJP and the Congress. Every attempt is made to distort history, not realizing that in the process, the BJP and the BJP-led government is guilty of denigrating the tallest of our leaders. There is enough reason for the government to also look into uh, what has been our demand, what is the social media's demand and what has come out of this controversy which has come out of this book. I'll certainly pass it on to the government. Both family members feel these revelations are only the tip of the iceberg. The truth according to them lies in the Netaji files which the government has refused to declassify for over 50 years. With camera person Chitra Banu, this is Sandeep Unnitan in Kolkata for Headlines Today. Well, this is easily the biggest espionage story this country has ever known. And only a part of that story has actually come out. There are many more files simply waiting to be Declassified. Joining us on the newsroom tonight, Sandeep Punitan, Deputy Editor, India Today, the journalist who scooped this massive story that set the agenda. Everyone is following the story. It has shocked Indians here in India and around the world. And also joining us live from Kolkata. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Shugata Bose. He's a Trinamool MP and great nephew of Subhash Chandra Bose. Uh, Mr. Bose, if I could ask you first, for your initial reactions, was it complete and utter surprise or was there ever an inkling at any point anywhere in your family that for 20 years people within the Bose family were under surveillance by the Nehru government? Mr. Bose. Well, we knew that uh, the family was under close surveillance uh, in British days before yes. 1947. But we did not know that for 20 years after independence, a similar kind of surveillance continued. Uh, I have, of course, seen the uh, files, and I uh, discovered that my father, Dr. Shishir Kumar Bose, was a prime target yes. uh, of this uh, espionage. Uh, and uh, the most disgraceful aspect uh, of it is that private letters uh, uh, between my father, uh, Dr. Shishir Kumar Bose, and his aunt uh, Netaji's wife, Emilie, hmm. uh, were also being opened and uh, read and copied and, and so forth. Uh, we knew that at the Elgin Road Post Office, British intelligence used to, used to do this in the pre-47 period. 
but that this continued for 20 years after independence yes. is, um, I think, a very uh, sad reflection on the quality Mr. of India's Bose, this democracy. Was, you know, this was the, the kind of surveillance, the details freedom. that have been brought out in this India Today cover story by these de declassified files, and Sandeep has written extensively about them, suggest that this was the kind of surveillance, and Sandeep, correct me if I'm wrong, that, you know, one reserved for enemies of the state, you know, terrorists, uh, you know, real adversaries, you know, people within your midst who you had real reason to suspect were, you know, intended to harm the country, not for patriots, not for freedom fighters, Mr. Bose. That's correct. And that's why I see this not as a family matter, but as a national issue, hmm. because this is an affront uh, to all freedom fighters. Uh, my father uh, uh, drove uh, his uncle's uh, uh, car during the uh, escape in 1941. Yes. Uh, he suffered imprisonment in British hands in the Red Fort, the Lahore Fort in Lalpur Jail. And what he was trying to do after independence at the Netaji Research Bureau was to preserve the best traditions of the freedom movement so that posterity uh, remembered and learned from the freedom struggle. Hmm. And yet we find from the files that have been disclosed and uh, which have been reported on by your uh, 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 news uh, uh, paper and yes. news channel that, uh, you know, he uh, founded uh, the Netaji Research Bureau in 1957 and there, are, there is a lot of material uh, from 1958, all the letters that he's writing to Europe and to different parts of Asia to collect materials on Netaji, letters, manuscripts, documents, photographs. All of these are being intercepted and read and uh, the level, and, and The level of detail uh, of this surveillance, yeah. Mr. Bose, you know, has shocked your family and I can tell you the reactions that we've been getting, uh, you know, over the past few hours since this story actually broke uh, has surprised every one of us here in the India Today group. Sandeep is the journalist who broke the story, who scooped the story, who has access to those files as well. Sandeep, the detail and meticulousness of this surveillance is an aspect that has shocked people. People being followed, uh, letters being intercepted, uh, you know, parts of those letters being underlined and filed away, you know, full full-fledged dossiers on every aspect of the Bose family, their movements, the language, uh, you know, the, 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 the mundane aspects of their life right. is the scariest part. Yeah, absolutely, Shiv. I mean, this is uh, something akin to, if you remember the Stasi files, Yes. when East Germany had collapsed and the secret police archives were opened up to the public, when members of the public saw for the first time the levels of unprecedented state surveillance on them. This is exactly the reaction that we've got from members of the Bose family who saw their movements being tracked and their uh, letters to their close family, the, yeah. uh, the, the Bose family in uh, Germany being intercepted and read and noticed and filed away. I mean, this gives you an idea of the kind of uh, the levels of paranoia that existed in the government right. in the 50s and the 60s. I mean, this is this kind of paranoia you would... It provides a whole new angle. Absolutely, and complexion yeah, it, to Nehru. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's, because 16 it's, out of the 20 years of surveillance, he was right. Prime Minister. And, and there's absolutely no way the surveillance could have happened without right. the Prime Minister knowing of this because the Intelligence Bureau, as you know, operates directly under the Prime Minister. Yes. And you had a very influential uh, spy master called Mr. Malik, yes. B.N. Malik, one of the greatest IB chiefs. He was chief for 14 of those years. He was not only from West Bengal, but he was also virtually Nehru's right hand man. Yes. And it could not, the surveillance could not have happened without the two of them being in the know. It's, it's absolutely incredible that for 16 of those 20 years, Nehru was the Prime Minister and as Sandeep says, it was impossible for this kind of an operation to actually happen without uh, Nehru actually being aware of what was going on. Mr. Bose, you know, the, the, the relationship between Nehru and Subhash Chandra Bose is the stuff of legend. Books have been written about it. You know, it, there's a mythology surrounding, right. you know, uh, the love-hate sort of relationship, yes. the suspicion that existed, right. the ideological differences, uh, you know, uh, uh, that were there. But at the end of the day, th there was also a sort of compassion between the two. Nehru wept at yes. Netaji's funeral. Yes. Uh, uh, Netaji considered Nehru, uh, you know, right. to be like an elder brother. Yes. In the light of that, you know, relationship upon which there is so much speculation, Mr. Shugata Bose, how do you find, you know, these fresh revelations? And I'm, I'm, I must also say that I need to ask you that question also knowing that there are several files that are still classified and could tell an even bigger story about what went on. Yes, uh, this is what I find very hard to reconcile. Uh, Nehru's uh, friendship mixed with rivalry uh, with uh, Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose, but also his friendly personal attitude yeah. uh, 
uh, towards uh, uh, the Bose family, including my father. You see, Nehru's government appears to be uh, spying on my uh, father in the late 1950s for his work at the Netaji Research Bureau. Yes. And yet, Nehru as Prime Minister visited the Netaji Research Bureau and went around the Netaji Museum and archives with great interest in 1961. I have seen photographs of that visit. Uh, I even appear in it as a four-year-old, uh, you know, wandering about with Nehru near his feet. Right. Uh, and my father was showing him around, as were other members of the family. And whenever my father or other members of the family visited Delhi, Nehru was very hospitable because he, after all, used to stay as my grandfather Sharad Bose's guest in Calcutta, mm. uh, in one of the houses that was under surveillance right. uh, before independence. And he would invite my father to breakfast or invite him to Parliament if. Parliament was in session. Right. So there, there was, you know, very friendly to ties. And I think Sandeep spoke to my mother, Krishna Bose, and my brother, Shumantra, yes. uh, who may have told him that, uh, that you know, uh, on one occasion, um, uh, my uh, uh, father was asked by Nehru, do you smoke? Hmm. And my father answered occasionally. That was an understatement because he was a uh, heavy smoker in those right. days. And uh, Nehru asked, is this an occasion? Yes. And my father replied, could be. And then they shared a smoke and they talked about how uh, Netaji did not smoke in India, but when he was you know, really yeah. fighting for you India's know, freedom Bose, in Southeast uh, you know, Asia, he did to smoke a and Nehru was smoking. Uh, a yeah. sort of specific question yeah. about the Bose family, because, you know, it's, it's the stuff that Indians are yeah. eternally curious about. The Bose family, uh, you know, ne the circumstances surrounding right. uh, Netaji's disappearance yes. and his demise. It's the stuff of mythology. It's, it's, it's got politics in it. It's got intrigue. It's got mystery. Uh, it, it's one of those sort of eternally mysterious kinds of stories. Given the kind of stresses you know your family has clearly gone through as a result of this you know mystery the speculation the things people have said about the family and the relationships these fresh revelations that have come out in Sandeep's story Mr. Bose ha have they added a further layer of stress and perhaps a certain sadness for the Bose family it's been a traumatic well, few uh, decades course, uh, you, yeah yeah, Netaji's, uh, I mean, this is uh, a minor trauma to find out, uh, you know, that uh, uh, my father and, uh, uh, and other members of the family were under surveillance. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, you know, they were prepared to sacrifice everything for their country's freedom. Uh, my grandfather spent eight years in British prisons. My father was in the Lahore Fort and yes. Lalpur Jail at Red Fort. But my father always... You know, he knew that his uh, uh, uncle's life was full of drama. Right. But he really wanted to focus on Netaji's life and work because he felt future generations of Indians would have a lot to learn yes. from Netaji's book of life. Uh, and that is the work that he was doing yes. here at the Netaji Research Bureau and built up this wonderful institution. And yet, for wanting to preserve the best traditions of the freedom movement, he was under surveillance. Yes. But he was also asking an important question about files that may still be closed. And there, as a historian, I have a very clear view and I have articulated it before as yes. well, that all government files that are more than 50 years old should be thrown open to the public, right. to the citizens, to scholars. In fact, most files that are 30 years old should also be thrown open. The, the simple and fact of the matter is only uh, these, these two files, files closed, have, yes, the, on, only these two files have actually been quite. declassified. Like you rightly point out, uh, uh, Mr. Shugata Post, there are several other files. In fact, the, the BJP government, uh, when it wasn't in power, had actually spoken about getting the truth out about Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. It's come to power now. Uh, the minister, uh, uh, you know, the Home Ministry has said that these classifying these files might actually impact India's relations with certain other countries. So, wherever you go, whatever you look at, yeah, the is, mystery yeah. continues to surround it. And that's, that's one of the aspects of and this case. And we should welcome whatever information comes out. The India Today cover story brings out information that is unprecedented, provides a fresh complexion and angle to a story that promises to be endlessly and eternally intriguing. Shugata Bose and Sandeep, thanks very much for joining us in the newsroom. We're going to continue to track this and the complete explosion of reactions we're getting from Indians right here in India and around the world.